What up, cockwaffles? So, the series of videos I've been doing, they've all been singles, seven inch records. They, um, you know, they don't play at the same speed as a full size record. And you need, uh, you need one of these little apparatus to uh, make them play. Because normally, you know, as you should know, the hole's bigger. But I found an interesting one. I don't even know if I want to play the damn music. Whatever. Look here. See? It's got that little triangle in there. It says, push out for use on large spindle. Yeah, no. No, I will not be doing that. It almost looks like somebody tried and failed horribly. So I'm going to put this away. Because this is a 7-inch I don't need it for. Which is awesome. So, oh, I should probably say what the record is. It's Billy May, Orchids in the Moonlight, and then Billy May, Fat Man Mambo. This will suck. This will suck, asshole, I'm sure, but let's get it on. Damn fucking uh, preamp thingy. Hey, noise! Well, ah, oh, I turned it up too loud. Great. So I find a cool record of all its parts intact, and it's a fucking shite fucking uh, jazz record of sorts. Orkins in the Moonlight, you suck. Let's go to Fat Man Mambo. Whoa. Eh. Slightly better. Nah, nah, I still can't get on board with it. Nah. Nope. nope. Sorry, Billy Mays. Oh, I'm sorry. Billy May. You know, Billy May is the guy who died on an airplane doing infomercials. I mean, listen, if you find records that have that little try on there, I don't actually know if it increases the value, but I would say fucking leave it. I mean, it don't, doesn't need to be out to play the damn thing. Unless you got a jukebox. So, yeah. Nobody wants Billy May in his orchestra. I'm not even going to go for my spiel, so you know what? Find triangles and go fuck yourself.